how to take care and design our bonsai olive tree. Let's go then. Torres from Bonsai Sense. I hope all of you are great. First of all, I want to congratulate Bonsai Empire and a special Oscar for these 20 years. Uh, he has made a great contribution uh, to Bonsai community around the world and I hope you can continue for a long time. Keep going, my friend. Today, I want to answer uh, uh, one question. How to take care and design our Bonsai olive tree? I'm going to start uh, on how to keep uh, our Bonsai olive tree healthy. But this is an answer that needs a lot of time to explain. I will try to give you uh, some tips that I think can be very important. For example, soil, water and fertilizer and combination with all of them are very, very important. Depends where do you live, you have access to different types of substrates. But the most usual are Akadama, Pomis, Kiryu and Volcanics. Dolea normally grows in more calcareous areas. And it's for this reason, if we have a slightly calcareous pH, helps a lot to uh, the olea assimilate the other nutrients. A lot of fertilizers tend to acidify the soil, so you have to check if it's necessary to make the extra contribution of calcium. For example, I use Akadama and Pomis 50-50 and I water with osmotic system. I use many different types of fertilizers that I know acidify my soil. So I add a extra contribution of calcium every month. Another important point is where we place the olive in our garden. It must be full sun for as long as possible. This will benefit its growth. If we talk about the Olea silvestris, I have seen it growing in a big range of different places without much problem. The only difference is that it will not make the same amount of growth per year. For example, in Northern Europe, compared with the Southern, the same tree will need more time to develop. Also, it's important if we, if we live in the north, in a place that used to snow in winter, we have to protect it from the most extreme frost to anticipate possible problems. So, we will consider this information before pruning. Depending on where we live, we will do it early or later during the spring. At the warming areas, we'll do it in the beginning of the spring, and the colder areas, we can wait close to the summer. About how to design our olea, I usually work with olea silvestris and their condition in nature give me the opportunity to imagine any possible design. From a tree with very dramatic appearance, a small leaf and crazy deadwood creating unusual movements like this one, and the other image uh, that is the standard olive tree growing in the fields. For me, both, both styles are correct, it just depends on that kind of tree we are going to work on. It's also important in this species uh, to keep an harmony between the deadwood and the light part. We always try to keep the work as natural as possible, like this one, for example. You can see the light bend and the deadwood is very natural. We will work on ramification in our design depending on the trunk lines. For example, you can see in this one we have this movement and in the next uh, wiring I try to do the same effect in the branches. <laughs> 